Mastering prepositions of place in English. Hello, learners. Welcome back to our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're going to delve into a very important aspect of English language learning, prepositions of place. Understanding these little words can truly enhance your fluency and comprehension. Let's dive in. Prepositions of place are words that help us understand where something or someone is located. These words can tell us if something is inside, outside, above, below, near, far, and many more spatial relations. Examples of common prepositions of place include in, at, on, under, above, below, near, far from, and many more. We'll go through each one with examples so you'll know exactly when and how to use them. These three prepositions are the most common and can be a bit tricky to master, but don't worry, we've got this. In is generally used when referring to something that is enclosed or surrounded. For example, the cat is in the box. At is often used to indicate a specific point or place. For example, meet me at the library. On is used when something is physically touching, covering, or attached to another thing. For example, the book is on the table. Now, let's explore other prepositions of place. Under indicates that something is below or lower than something else, often with one thing covering the other. For example, the cat is under the table. Above is used when something is at a higher level, but not directly over it. For example, the helicopter is flying above the city. Below is used to express that something is at a lower level. For example, the fish is swimming below the surface of the water. Near suggests that something is a short distance away from something else. For example, the park is near my house. Far from means a large distance away. For example, the station is far from my home. Remember, these are just guidelines, and there may be exceptions to these rules, as with any language. Prepositions of place might seem small, but they're mighty in the meaning they convey in our sentences. Understanding and using them correctly can greatly improve your English communication skills. Keep practicing with real-world examples, and soon they'll become second nature to you. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you keep learning and improving. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.